Now that was anti-fragility in action. After a year of absolute mayhem, the world is slowly getting back on course, thanks in great part to the unrelenting work of scientists. Cartier Women's Initiative wanted to honor the work of women scientists who are pioneering groundbreaking innovations and paving the way for more women to embrace careers in science and tech. That is why a new award category was launched last year, the Science and Technology Pioneer Award. Our first speaker is from Turkey and she is working on nothing less than a cure for cancer. Conventional cancer treatments can be extremely painful for a cancer patient and their family. But this pioneering scientist has developed a cure that's effective and also preserves the patient's health and well-being. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Reina Sanyol. Despite medical progress, cancer is still one of the most serious challenges for humanity. In 2018 alone, we lost 10 million people to cancer. This translates to 40 lives lost by the end of this two-minute talk. By 2035, the number of new cases is estimated to increase by 70%. What we have developed with my team is a cure with a smile, where the patient, your loved one, does not suffer through miserable side effects. We can easily kill tumor cells in a petri dish, but to kill cancer cells without harming the rest of the body is the real challenge. That's our pledge, to keep up the quality of life during treatment. We have developed a drug delivery platform that packages the toxic agent so that it doesn't harm the healthy cells until it reaches the tumor. As I speak, our first drug candidate is being administered to the patients in the hospital. This is the first drug candidate ever to complete the journey from lab to clinic in Turkey. I cannot tell you how proud that makes me feel. The future of oncology will be targeted therapies, precisely identifying and attacking cancer cells only. This is a field that does not just need collaboration between multiple disciplines. The field needs co-creation, so that we don't just have one more drug on the market, but have an ecosystem that fosters innovation of novel medicines. Since they are the ultimate creators, women are at the heart of these innovation efforts. If you are doing something worthwhile, you change lives. If you are helping women to do something worthwhile, you change the world. Thanks, Rana. In dealing with an immediate crisis, we sometimes lose sight of the bigger picture. While we have been understandably preoccupied with getting a handle on a global pandemic, there is another pressing and looming challenge that will have even more tragic consequences on humanity, climate change. Well, one person certainly hasn't lost sight of it and is actively working to help meet the world's energy needs. Please welcome Dr. Christina Gengu, the CEO and founder of Agora Energy from Canada. Energy is fundamentally interlinked with human development. Those who have access to it thrive. For those who don't, they barely survive. However, if we don't change the manner we produce an energy, for all of us, there will be a point of no return. At present, more than three quarters of the energy generation ends up in 40 billion tons of CO2 being released into the atmosphere. Steady accumulation of, over the past century led us to the most challenging problem we are facing today, the climate change. In addition to this, little is known that behind the energy system, there are hidden social, environmental, and health costs that amounts to roughly $25 trillion, entire global GDP. Something has to change for the future. We have to be able to innovate and develop new technologies where energy is delinked for carbon emission. 
that's why I created Agora Energy, a company that is positioning itself for an electric future with abundant and robust energy storage and low carbon technologies. So what is it that we do? We created a unique technology where CO2 is used at one end and clean electricity is produced at the other. By doing this, we eliminate the supply chain dependent minerals and mining of hazardous materials. By being scalable and inexpensive, this battery can be easily adopted in developing countries as well as the affluent one. Negative carbon electricity for all seems impossible. However, it's not possible until it's done. Thank you, Christina. Did you know that 1.8 billion people use a contaminated source of drinking water? That's because the vast majority of wastewater flows back into the ecosystem without being treated or reused. Luckily, our third science and technology pioneer has developed a solution to that problem. Please welcome Ariana Bretzinger, USA founder and CEO of AquaCycle. Globally, more people have a cell phone than a toilet. 80% of wastewater that is generated worldwide, both residential and industrial, is discharged to the environment with minimal or no treatment at all. And this has devastating impacts on human and environmental health. This problem persists because conventional wastewater treatment methods require massive infrastructure investment, highly trained operators, and have significant energy demands, making them impractical in many areas of the world. My name is Oriana Bretschker. I'm the CEO and founder of AquaCycle, and we imagine a world where wastewater treatment can happen anywhere in the world, without an energy grid and without a sewer grid, and is safe and accessible to everyone. AquaCycle technology pilots operating since 2016 have demonstrated net zero energy requirements, 80% sludge elimination, and treatment rates that are at least twice as fast as incumbent technologies. All benefits leading to a 60% reduction in overall operational costs for on-site wastewater treatment. AquaCycle technology can be integrated as a part of a full solution for decentralized wastewater treatment for food and beverage companies, residential applications, and swine and dairy farms. AquaCycle is proud to be a part of the water industry and one of the many innovators helping to address some of the world's most challenging environmental and human health issues. To accelerate change and technology adoption within the water industry, we need to raise awareness of the existing problems. We need to establish local and global communities and relationships. We need to increase the diversity of voices working to solve these challenges. And we must expand our manufacturing capacity to global networks. We are thrilled to be embarking on a journey to accomplish these goals.